Hey, how's everyone doing? So, um, I wanted to go over some of the records I got in the last couple weeks. It's the first time doing one of these videos. I love watching you guys on YouTube who do it. So I'm going to get involved. Um, so this is just mostly thrift store stuff. I get really lucky with thrift stores, I think. Maybe it's just because I have more open taste. I don't know. But there's a lot of cool stuff there. I do check it out often enough to find some stuff, hopefully. Alright, so, first one. Milton Nascimento. Yara Ready. Or Yara Ready. I don't know how to say it. Milton Nascimento. Really cool Spanish dude. Um, sleeve is sweet. Has lyrics, um, English and Spanish versions, so you know what's going on, what's being said. Really nice. Has a lot of good credibility online from a musician when you look at it. It's a promotional copy. Um, really cool backside. And I decided to pick it up just because, you know, looks like he's a very professional dude. So. Look him up, Milton Nascimento. <clears throat> Thelonious Monster. Picked this one up for a buck at a record store. Really cool. Was turned on by the cover, obviously, also. Thelonious Monster. It's a playoff Thelonious Monk. So I was interested to see what they were about. I like the picture on the back a lot. Two kids riding bikes. Um, I am a big fan of this record. There's a lot of cool songs. Back to front, it's a little bit different. I enjoy it, but there's certain songs that really stand out to me. Um, so check this band out, Thelonious Monster. If you didn't check him out, check out a song called Looking to the West. It's a great song. Frank Sinatra, Great Shape, Strangers in the Night, conducted by Nelson Riddle. Got this for 50 cents. It's in really good shape, too. I'm um, really glad about this. Been trying to collect more Frank Sinatra. I have three or four of them now, I think. The Music People. So I got this one simply because of the fact that it's awesome and... It has lots of artists. We got uh, Santana, Poco, New Riders, Sweat Hog, Bob Dylan, Jeff Beck Group, The Birds, Dreams, um, Blue Rose, Spirit, Blood, Sweat, and Tears. So this is awesome. It's all different labels, just artists put together. Now the reason I'm a big fan of it really also is because I bought it simply because of the layout. If you check it out here, it's really awesome. It gives you a layout of all the different little um, paragraphs, little excerpts on the artist that you're about to see and listen to, and what album cover it's from. And I like that. It sort of gets me into opening my um, ears up to something new. Glenn Yarbrough. Glenn Yarbrough, this is the second record. It's called Come Sit By My Side. Um, sings an album of popular folk songs. I've been a very big fan of Glenn Yarbrough. He's become one of my favorites of the older guys. There's something about his voice. He's amazing. It's very timber. He's really well known. Um, if you look him up for one particular song, it has to do with Rain. But I have four or five of his records now, and I went to Salvation Army just to get this because I knew it was there from remembering it so many times. Sippy, I think pretty sure this is his first one here. Um, Sergio Mendez and Brazil 86. I'm oh, sorry, Brazil 66. Herb Alpert Presents. It's in perfect shape, too, and I bought it for 25 cents. So, I mean, it'd be great. I mean, you know, I do like a lot of my records, but I'm also looking for something new. So I always make some trades at a record store. Maybe it's a good one, but I do enjoy him. So Now, this is really sweet. The Complete Glenn Miller, Volume 4, 1940. Now, this record is really enjoyable actually. I've only listened to the first side out of the four sides, I'll be honest with you, because I've been going through so much stuff. But I realize I really like Glenn Miller and his type of jazz in the forties and that you know, some of the stuff's too old school for me, but this one isn't. Really nice gatefold. Really cool write up on Glenn Miller. Write up on him, really interesting guy. Actually got went missing during World War Two when he went to go perform. So he's MIA and never came back. Interesting. Um Nelson Riddle and his orchestra, Witchcraft. Um, most people know it, know that song. Frank Sinatra made it really popular when he did his version of it. I bought it simply because of the cover, because it's amazing. It turns out the stuff's really cool. It's like that um, bachelor pad of music. This is a newer record, Against Me. Okay, it's total clarity. Now, I never got into Against Me. I know they're a punk band, I know they've been around for a while now. Um, they were on Fat Records, but now they're on different stuff. But um, this is actually their new record from this year. It's actually B-sides and demos from their second album that has something else with clarity in the name. And Fat Records actually put it out because of that. And it's um, my first time listening to them. I really like what I've heard of it so far. 
Really cool pull out. I mean, sorry, fold out. You got the skull, burning skull with the uh, surfer in the top there and the eyeball. That's really awesome. I like it. So yeah, this is on sale. It was, it was 14 bucks, and I had a special deal: buy one get one anything in the store. So I got it for seven. So it's not that bad for double LP. Dory Previn, Mythical Kings and Iguanas. If you don't know Dory Previn, and there's one thing you can take from this video, it's to check out Dory Previn. Really cool, really quirky, crazy lyrics, soft, harder sometimes, just interesting, very poetic, really crazy stuff going on, really crazy history growing up too. Nice skatefold. Um, I decided to continue trying to find her stuff because her record called Reflections in a Mud Puddle is pretty much my top record I've like found and owned since I got the vinyl player just a couple months ago and got into vinyls at all, so I want to keep finding her stuff. This guy's really cool. Ian Matthews, Stealing Home. Never knew him. I found something the other day, I saw something, I mean, in a record store, one of his earlier works that was like seven bucks, and I'm probably going to pick it up because I really like this guy. He's just really smooth. Um, check out the song, Give Me an Inch. It's a sick song. Ian Matthews, Give Me an Inch, record Stealing Home. And this is, uh, what year is this again? I don't remember. Can't find it on here. But great condition, too. The Pretenders, pretty much also one of my top ones right now that I'm listening to. This is Pretenders 2, their second record. Got this one for only a quarter as well. Great condition. My first time listening to The Pretenders, my introduction to them, and I really enjoy them. My father seems to like um, the lead singer, Christina Hind, if you remember right. He likes her a lot. Um, really impressed by this stuff. Just love singer female, female singer-songwriters. Um, single musician. Sometimes I feel like a rock band with a girl lead singer just doesn't always take off, but this works. The Adulteress is a great song. My two favorites are Go to Sleep and Waste Not, Want Not. So, check this one out. Pretenders 2. If you haven't, but you probably already have because I'm behind. This has got yesterday. Awesome find. I'm newer to jazz. Newer in the fact that I know, don't know much except for, you know, the normal Miles Davis and Thelonious Monk and, you know, some other guys. Um, Max Roach, really popular drummer. Most people probably know him. Freedom Now Suite is the record. It's the reissue of um, their, it's a 20 year anniversary reissue. Um, it's 1980, so I guess it was originally around 1960. Yeah, 1960 was where it was. It was recorded on two days in 60. Um, awesome record. I found out that, well, you'll see next actually, I'll show you um, who the singer is that's on there helping him. But um, really tough stuff. Really, really tough stuff. This suite was performed live for the centennial, the 100-year anniversary of the Emancipation Proclamation when it came out. It was pretty sweet. Um, about that. Abby Lincoln, People in Me. Came across her on a blog, saw the picture, saw the cover. I was really impressed with the cover alone. It just looks like someone that I just want to hear. So I got it. Four tracks on each side. I really like the tracks. It's really cool stuff. This was recorded in Japanese and uh, Japan. Sorry. Um, it's on a record label called Inner City Records. I found out right online that it was actually out of print from the original, which is should be this one from what I'm getting from it. And um, just sweet because I didn't really pay. I only paid five bucks for it. And um, it's pretty awesome because now it's out on other labels. And so they don't put this one out anymore. This is the original pressing as far as I know. There's J Japanese musicians on this record that helped her while she was actually in Japan. And there's a few different guys like David Liebman, um, Al Foster, James Tumay who are from Miles Davis's group. So it's pretty awesome. If you can see here, they are actually pretty close. Miles Davis and Abby Lincoln, or at least they were acquainted, so he helped her out, I was like, here, take my dudes, when he was in Japan, too. Um, last one for now, Impulse Artists on Tour. This one is awesome. Live concert performances, another live, it's a live jazz album from different guys on the record label called Impulse. Promotional copy. Gato Barbieri, if I'm saying these wrong, sorry. Keith Jarrett, John Clemmer, Sam Rivers, Michael White. So there's five tracks, five guys. Each one has a track. Right? 
really like this actually. I was just listening to the first side this morning. Went through it yesterday a couple times in the first side too. Um, really cool. Really good live stuff. So I'm a fan of this. So Impulse Artist on tour, live concert performances. All right, so that's it for now. Um, only a couple of those are from record stores. Other than that, they're all just great finds from thrift stores. So don't ever give up out there. Um, keep going for it. So that's it for now. This is Tim. I'm signing off. Again, get back to me in the comments. If you guys check out my videos, let me know if you come across and you know anything about these artists, just information about them because a lot of them are newer to me and it would be awesome to know. All right, take care. Thanks for watching, guys.